Okay guys, so we're gonna start off today doing a simulation of an actual spill response out in the field. The idea is obviously we're not dealing with a real hydrocarbon release here. Our idea is that we're dealing with a simulated situation, but you all do have positions that you're gonna to have to make sure you're responsible for knowing what to do and who to communicate with, so that if you were ever on a real scene, you're gonna have the information about how to act, what to deal with, who to talk with, um, and do so appropriately. And it's another thing you're gonna be able to put on your resume too, which is what you know we're always driving towards, is giving you guys more marketable skills that you can take out of here and say, I have experience working under the WCSS spill response protocol in whatever ABC capacity and reporting back afterwards, which Todd will be your commander in chief for doing so. But you guys are all gonna work together to do that. Joe recovery team. We practiced sketching out an initial response uh, scene in lab, and at that time we said we're gonna deal with a spill. Let's say that happened at 2.46 a.m. this morning. We got a, a call in. Uh, there is a tanker truck who was gonna go take a break <laughs> out on Churchill Park at the Day Use Beach at lunch or whatever, at night, I guess. He was taking a night break, and he spilled his tanker truck right here on the causeway. We're gonna treat this situation right here as if we're on the actual causeway and this is the road here. So the tanker truck's tipped over and our spills happened here. Lucky for you guys, there's an onshore wind, which is good and bad. Remember, we don't wanna get any hydrocarbon on the shore, so it's hard to avoid that with an onshore wind. But by the same token, we're not gonna have release out into the water because the wind's driving into us. So for our purposes, um, we're gonna say the scene is live once we're done talking here and you guys will establish everything you need to in terms of the no-go zone, stake it out, use the shovels, use the flagging tape set out the boom and once you're or once you're sorry just before you're ready to put out the boom i'll go out and release our simulation material right and you guys are going to actually practice collecting that puffed wheat which is supposed to be our gas or diesel in this case um, because it does behave very similar to a substance like a hydrophobic substance would so you know oil remember is on the surface there's that surface tension if you try and move it too quickly it curls under your hands puffed wheat almost does the exact same thing and lucky for us animals love to eat puffed wheat so they'll cleaning up clean it up pretty well if you miss any like that there's obviously a lot more that goes into this scenario than just showing up and cleaning up a spill. In our case, we're saying there's a tanker truck that spilled. You'd also have to deal with that tanker truck. You'd have to contain first the leak if it's not already all leaked out, remediate and deal with that site where it spilled on land before it went into the water, if that's the case, and get the truck out of there, right? Um, in this case, we're not doing that, obviously. Right. But okay. for the point of your report, though, as you said, it's very important for you guys to think of that. That's what I want to see from you is that you're thinking about the situation comprehensively. So you think of all the issues that would arise if you were involved in dealing with an actual spill in the field, although this isn't an actual spill. And, and likewise, if, what, with wildlife, we'd have to consider wildlife deterrence and dealing with any wildlife that were contaminated. Clearly, that's not the case here. Again, puffed wheat's not going to contaminate anything. And uh, it's just a situation where we're simulating those conditions. But I do want you in your report to think of it in that essence, that you're reporting on it as if it's a real live situation you encountered and dealt with okay and have fun too be safe but have fun we're outside we're in waiters everyone can be safe but have a good time out here instead of sitting in the class listening to me talk